Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS 2605 fan channel, excuse me, for or MLB Power Pro 2008 season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So now it looks like we're having our first game hosting the Tampa Bay Rays. 20 0 on the season. Oh, excuse me, no, we're at the Tampa Bay Rays. Well, it's raining, but we're in the, uh, we're in the trop, the greatest field that no one likes to play in, so. Let's see, Dank's gonna be on the round. No, we're gonna put in Guthrie. See, then we should we'll have Scott Olson next time. All right, Jeremy Guthrie with a 1.82 average. He'll be starting us off here. All right, I'm, I, they got Felix Hernandez on the mound. Oh man, let's actually okay. Let's see, they got Ichiro, Rafael Furcal, Carlos Beltran, Edwin Encarnacion, Jay's legend, Adam LaRoche, Great Anderson, Waki Iwamura, Josh Laird. I want to say, and then I'm not sure who Norton is, but that's another stacked lineup. Like. They must have no pitching outside of Hernandez if you look at the record, but let's get into it. We'll be batting off, so I'll begin it here. Okay, Blue Jays, let's play ball. Alrighty. Looks how the Red Sox won, so fortunate the other team couldn't win, but we got to make sure we win here, right? We got an undefeated season to protect. Ah, uh, the greatest field. It is unbelievable. I c this is the only time, unless it's like the playoffs, you'll ever see this building sold out is in a video game. And it's because it's in like an inconvenient location, this, that, and the other, but... Let's go ahead and get started here. Archerelia leading off, Felix Hernandez, that's the appropriate ERA, just above three. He's another one of probably the best pitchers in the game, I'd say. Taking ball one, curveball. Strike one with the changeup. Oh, slider went below the zone. Ball two. Strike one high with the fastball. Count is two, two. Hits that one into the outfield. Is that going to be an extra base hit? Nah, just stay on first. All right, Ray Durham now. Turn off the game good. Splitter goes for ball one. Not sure if my face cam is blocking it, but there's a billboard out there that says G nuts. It's a couple letters off of D. Anyways, he tries to pick off Aurelia. Seems like one of the only times they've done it on an appropriate person on first base. Dorm hits that one above the head of third baseman. That's Encarnacion. 1-2 count now. Let it go by. Count is even 2-2. Two, two. Let's hold that one. That one's foul again. Down the third baseline. And Durham hits that one. That's going for a bloop single to shallow left field. Two men on, no outs. And look who's up. 567 average, 26 home runs, 60 RBIs. Strike one. Ball one, two fastballs. One in, one out. Another ball. Count is 2-1. Count is even at 2-2. Two, two. Oh, couldn't get the greatest handle on that. And it's going to be... They could have had the double play, but instead it's men on the corners with one out. And here's Alex Rios. So that was a mistake, but only went for a grounder. Anyways, ball one with the splitter. Ball two with the fastball. He's trying to get him popped up. He, they know, you know, he knows that sacrifice, sacrifice flies available. A couple strikes on with that. Count is two one, three one now. Even that strike was a uh, fifty fifty. Could have walk. Instead, it's going to be a full count payoff pitch to Alex Rios is coming up. Gets a hold of that, hits it well, but hits it foul. That would have been a three run homer. And he gets a hold of that one well. That one's going. Is it gone? It stays inside the park. But there's going to be men on second and third with one out. Rios has an RBI double. It's long gone, Braun. He is one home run behind Berkman. He has 25 opposed to 26, but he has what? 14 less RBIs. Gets a hold of that one.
Oh, and that was the wrong call. I forgot it was Berkman. He's not a fast runner, so. That's so where the inning ends. We got the one run across on three hits. Could have been more. Heading into the bottom of the first now. Let's face this raised lineup. All right. First off, Ichiro. So he ended up playing for the Marlins later in his career after the Mariners. Now he's with the Rays. Raphael for Cal. Strike one. Strike two. Oh, right, two count. Got him swinging. All right, two down. Carlos Beltran. If you guys hear a trash can, well, you know, hey, we better throw it out of the zone. Anyways, three up, three down for Jeremy Guthrie, heading to the top now. Hernandez is going to face our 6 7 8 part of the lineup. Leading off is Mike Lowell. Yeah, 15 29. It feels like almost all the home runs he's had have been solo shots. Anyways, ball one. Strike one with the splitter. Ball two. Head of the count, 2 1 now. 3 and 1. Just wait on it in case. 3 1. 3 2. Payoff pitch. It's in the dirt. That was a heck of a pitch he threw. Got it in play. Oh, an Aaron throw, but he tags out Lowell. It's out number 1. Luke Scott, lefty righty matchup. This is what we want. Strike one. Swinging at that slider. Strike two. Gets a hold of that one, and that's going for a base hit. Doesn't get closer than that. Scott has himself a single. So I'd say, you know what? After this pitch here, let's test Laird. Change up, he's throwing. Just got him out. Really hard to steal bases in this game. Catcher always has one arm above, but doesn't get closer than that. Anyways, 0-2 to Loduca now. Gets a hold of that, that's right to the second baseman, Iwamura. So he had one man on, he got himself out. That was like the one time they didn't try and pick him off. But heading to the uh, bottom of the second now. Facing the four, five, six batters. Everyone here has a low average for some reason. They're in like one of the most hitter-friendly ballparks in the majors. A lot of these guys are close to 200. Anyways, caught by Guthrie for the first out. Next up, Adam LaRoche. He's at the Mendoza line. What is going on here with this lineup? And that goes for the first base hit, just out of reach of uh, Aurelia's glove. Goes for single. One man on, one out. Great Anderson cannot hit right over the middle, apparently. Let's take advantage of that. Swinging at that, that's a miss. Got him swinging. Pretty ballsy move, right? Leaving it over the plate like that. Iwamura 260 isn't terrible, but... Well, this, this lineup should all be hitting, like, above two... 250. That's going to go for a blooper hit. Is he going to third? He's going to third. Nope. He thought better of it. Men are on first and second. Two outs. Josh Laird, 240, 2 and 8. There you go. Berkman steps on the bag. That's the end of the inning. Heading into the top of the third now. Still a 1 nothing game. Grinison's going to lead off as a lefty, then a really other Durham. And because Scott decided to get caught stealing, like that wasn't my decision, Grinderson will lead off instead of being the last batter of the third inning. Excuse me, the second. Anyways, count is 0-1. Caught perfectly. That slider caught the top right corner of the zone perfectly. Count is 0-2. Off the plate, got the bat on it. And that's right to Anderson. Shift worked perfectly that time. From Granderson, Anderson. Here's Richarelli up now for the second time of the game. One for one. Slider off the plate. Ball one. Ball 
Bow two. Bow one. Count is even at two two. It's that one, just fair, caught by LaRoche, steps on the bag. I was hoping that would go foul. Now Durham, one for one tonight with a single. Strike one with the splitter. Ball one, that call went our way. Count is even a one. Head in the count, two one now. Got the zone with that curveball. 2-2 two, two count to Ray Durham. Hits that one, and that's going for another base hit. Once again, to shallow left. Now up is Lance Berkman. He's 0 for 1. But he can really change that around here with a good swing here. Splitter, call went our way, but I think that was fair to call that a ball. Count is 1-0. 2-0. 4-1. Full count, Lance Berkman. And he's keeping an eye. It's a full count, like it really doesn't matter if you... I'm not going to send him. Okay, that's enough out of you. Come on now. And Berkman makes contact with that. Slowed down. He broke the space-time continuum with that swing, but it's to Iwamura. And sends him down for the inning. Kind of hard to get any traction here. We're 1 for 5. At the end of the day, it's better than their 0 for 2. Facing 9-1-2 in their lineup is Jeremy Guthrie. Who is this Norton guy? Greg Norton. Can't say I'm familiar with him. But anyways, Mr. Norton here. He heard a who, and he popped out to the pitcher. That's one out. Alright, he throws 1. 0 for 1, excuse me. 277, yeah. See, that's a much better, it's pretty much 280. But each row's like, you know, like a 330 hitter. Perfect setup there. Guthrie got to in time. Second out. For Cal, 240. You don't want your second, your second batter in your lineup batting 240. You don't want any batter batting. You want them batting better than that, ideally, but... Of course, easier said than done anyway. Got him swinging second time in a row. That sends him down for the inning. Heading into the top of the fourth now. Still a 1-0 game for your Toronto Blue Jays. And there's Guthrie walking off the mound. He's had a great game so far. Hernandez feels like the one pitcher we haven't cracked yet. Because usually, what, we have double digits run but run but runs by now, excuse me. Anyways, slider goes for strike one against Alex Rios. Ball up high. Change up. Another change up. Inside. Two inside. Goes 2 1 now. That one went our way. Count is 3 1. Full count. Payoff pitch to Alex Rios coming up. Gets his bat on it, and it's going to go for another base hit. Just a single. Ryan Braun. Ball one off the plate. Far side. Ball two. Two one. I got a feeling he throws one here. Two two. Maybe back off. Let that go by. That was tough to lay off of. Count is full again. And got Braun swinging. He went from like an 85 mile per hour changeup to a 96 fastball. That's nasty. Here's Michael Lowell up again. Strike one off the changeup. Changeup's been his like 
Pista resistance right now. There's the curveball. Count is 1-1. One, one. Count is 2-1. Two, two, Three and one now. Went our way. Oh, that was barely caught the play with that. Count is 3-2. I think he throws another fastball here. He threw the change up, and that's going into the gap. That's another base hit. Men are on first and second. One out. And he's got to face the lefty Luke Scott. Change up way down low for ball one. Ball two. Strike one with the changeup. Three and one now. Play off of it. All right. This like what is this? The third full count of the inning. Fouled it off just barely. Count remains full. Got him swinging. That was out of the zone. All right, Paulo Duca now. He doesn't have the out to make a sacrifice with. Change up misses his own ball one. Strike one. All right, finally something went his way. We've been getting a little generous with these calls. He's already tired. Ball two. Because he's only throwing like off speed. No wonder he's tired. Laduka pulls that. It's caught, but is he going to throw it in time? Yes, he will. Hernandez gets out of another jam, and we are now one for seven. All right, Guthrie, you're facing the heart of their lineup. Three, four, five. There's Beltron. I'd expect the DH to. I mean, granted, maybe none of his teammates are getting on base. That's why his RBIs are so low. Only two home runs. The idea of some of these guys being in, like, these uniforms are cursed. Like, imagine each row were Beltron on the Rays. Imagine, yeah, and Edwin Encarnacion on the Rays. Just missed the strike zone with that. Ball one. He's taken off. The hit and run. And it isn't going to work out. He has to go back to first. Caught by Lowell over third base. So now we're keeping an eye on this guy. Got to face the lefty, Adam LaRoche. Got a hold of that. Easy double play. Tag him out. Throw him out. I'm going to check the replay of that. He didn't have a half bad swing at all, but went, once again, right to second baseman Durham. Gets the double play. Yep. Three hits allowed for Guthrie. They're 0 for 3. We're 1 for 7. Heading into the top of the fifth now. All right, Granderson. <coughs> If he throws one your way, just crank it. Ball one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Don't know I'm all congested all of a sudden, but goodness gracious. <coughs> Alright. Should be better. Excuse me. Speaking of excuse me, that ball's going right over the wall. Holy moly, he hit the advertisements out there. I think this would be a good time for a little bit of water. 2 nothing ball game. Grimerson with his 11th on the season. Keeping him in. Strike one with the curveball. Now he's he's gassed. Just let him get even more tired. He's thrown 92 pitches already. There is no way. There is no way he's thrown 92. 93. How did he throw that many? I know he started getting tired. What around the low 80 mark? Blooper, is that going to fall? Nope, Norton's there in time, and they're going to take him off the mound. So he allowed two runs on four and a third, but he threw almost 100 pitches. Now they're putting Trevor Hoffman on the mound in the fifth inning. That's an interesting move. Strike one with his changeup. Changeup way down low. Caught the top of the zone with the fastball. It's that one for a base hit. Durham is three for three. 
You think they tell their left fielder to just, just kind of move in? Berkman hits the first pitch he sees. That's going to go for a double play. Berkman has not had a very good game tonight, I'm afraid. So that gets them out of the inning with only the home run allowed. We don't need to say that. But still, Hernandez is in line for the loss after he pitched very well and pitched a lot, actually. I have no idea how that pitch count got almost to 100. Had I known, I would just would have let it go to 100 so we could see triple digits. <coughs> All right, that was a mistake there over the front of the plate. That's going to go for the fourth base hit of the game for the Rays. That's a double. No men out. <coughs> We're at Ewer Murr now. Strike one, low in the zone. With the slider. Just misses zone with the fastball. Goes just foul. Count is 1 2. Strike one Laird. The man got the runner on third. He's going to wisely go back. We get rid of the sacrifice, but any base hit's going to bring him in. Got a face. Norton. That's the zone with the fastball. Excuse me, the slider. Caught it with the fastball. Hits it a second. Durham once again throws it a Berkman, and we're out of the inning. So another hit allowed. No harm done. We got to see how many hits we can get off Trevor Tyne. We're only two for nine. That is not very good. Here's Rios. He's looking for a cycle. Well, why not? Count is 1-1. One, one. Hits it up the middle. Rafael Fracal catches it. That's over. To La Roche at first. One out. Ryan Braun, you're 0 for 2. You need to get a base hit here. Ball 1. Strike one. And a mistake, and that's going right to the shortstop. <coughs> back to back plays the shortstop through it to first. Two out now. Here's Lowell, one for two tonight. Ball outside. Fastball way down low for ball two. Two and one. Let it go by. Can is even at a 2 2. Here's Hoffman. Lowell hits it right up the middle past Hoffman. That's another base hit for Mike Lowell. Now Hoffman's got to face the lefty again and Luke Scott. One for two tonight. Strike one off the slider. I think he's already kind of losing some stamina there. Has a lot less movement. Hits the change up to left field. Blooper single. That's Paulo Duca up with two men on, two out. He hits that one well, but I don't think he got enough of it. Nope. Ichiro's there in center. That's the end of the inning. So once again, the Jays leave men on. <clears throat> Heading to the bottom of the six. Two for 11. And Guthrie's pitching out of his mind right now, so... Just got to keep going. He's got to get through the top of the lineup. Facing Ichiro. Here's the first pitch. Ichiro fouls back. Strike one, here we go. Hitting it up the middle. Of course, McAfee wants to come right now. But with that play, but he throws the fast runner. Is Durham going to get him? Oh, just barely. It doesn't get closer than that. That's for Cal now, strike one. Go for a double play. He throws a fast runner. They both are, but we get the first guy. So one out, one man on at first. Strike one. Easy catch for Loduca. Try to style it, but we'll just take the out. Ready, a man on first, two outs, and Carnacion. He's taken off. Luduka's got him by a mile. He's even a headfirst diver. So allowed another hit. That's a okay. Top of the seventh now. Still a two nothing ball game. Here's Curtis Granderson. Why not? 
They're one for two tonight with the homer. Let's see if he can get another one off Trevor Hoffman. Gets that one well. It's into the shift. Ichiro's there again. Even with no win. It's going to be the first out. For Trevilla, one for three tonight. Ball one. Ball two. Ball three. Just in case it throws one your way. Three one. Three two. Full count, or really up, pushes it just foul. Or remain a full count. Aurelia smacks that one into the gap. That's going to get to the back wall out there. He's going to get himself a double. Now he's in line to try and go for a cycle. Look at that. Perfect. He's not much of a powered guy, at least compared to the rest of the guys in the lineup. But he put that one through the gap perfectly. That's Ray Durham. First pitch you see, swings at it. You're going to throw and try and get him a third. Will he get back in time to second? Yes, he will. Fielder's choice. And there's two men on. That's Lance Berkman. They're taking him out. Taking Hoffman out for Rincon. Now, Berkman is 0 for 3, so I think let's just take it easy, just a contact swing. Slide it for strike one. Berkman hits that one foul. Already an 0-2 count now. Got him swinging. That is a nasty slider. Berkman goes down. He is 0 for 4 tonight. Here's Alex Rio still looking for that cycle. Let's see if he can get it. Strike one. Because we're going to battle nine innings with the road team today. Strike two. He is on fire, this ring cone guy. Goes for a ball. Count as 1 2. And he pushes a slider. And that's going to get in at least one run. Yep. It's a 3 nothing ball game. And now it's long gone Baron. Like now you just got to crank it. Well, you know what, though? A single will get in Durham, make it 4 nothing game. He pushes that one. Is that going to fall fair? It's going to fall fair. 4 nothing. Once again, we have a man on third, so another single will just get him home. Let's see if Mike Lowell can do it. I th he has a low ERA, and those are ERAs on Hoffman's part. Foul that one back. Thankfully, goes out into the stands. Count is 0-2. Pushes that fastball foul. Staying alive. Count is 0-2. Pushes head. Is it going to fall? Nope. Ichiro gets over there. That's the end of the inning. So we got two more runs across. It's the seventh inning stretch. We're pitching... Well, excuse me, Guthrie's pitching a shutout right now. He's got to get through four, five, six. At least one more time. He's just got to face the hard in the lineup one more time before the game's over. But we gave him a three-run cushion he can work with. I say, at this rate, he can allow two runs before I take him out. Depending if it gets closer or not, I might take him out after one. I might put in Lindstrom for the save. But just look at this. I can't believe it. A sold-out crowd at the drop. And you know if they're here at the drop, they must know one thing. That it's one, two, three. Strikes you out at the old ball game at Tropicana Field. Ready, heading to the bottom of the seventh now. And Carnacion. It's crazy. I know he was on the Reds, like he's on the Reds' original roster, and it's crazy. Like, who would know he'd become a Toronto legend? Or Jose Bautista, who's on the Pirates in this game. Anyways, he leads off with a stand-up double. Roach strike one, slider. It's that one well. Caught by Lowell. But LaRoche, is he going to get there in time? He's safe. Infield base hit, but Lowell saves a run from coming in. Oh, it's Garrett Anderson, not Great Anderson. It's one for one, one for what two tonight? Oh, and he's safe. Two infield hits. The bases are loaded. 
just pitch like hell to Iwamura. Don't give him any slack. Strike two. Change up. Got him swinging. That's a huge strikeout for Jeremy Guthrie. What is that, like his second of the game? Fourth. Josh. Gerald Laird cannot hit pitches that are pitched on the inside of the strike zone to him. Just target that area. Pulls it. Tag him out. Go. And Guthrie's out of a base. It's loaded jam. Very, very nice. Check the replay of that. Yeah, perfect. Tagged him out. Probably wouldn't have been beneficial just for him to take every pitch, but they have had eight hits. They are 0 for 8. We are 4 for 14, so at least we're getting runs across the plate. We're down to our last six outs. Luke Scott is leading off against Rincon. 2 for 3 tonight. Strike one. It's the second pitch. That's going for another base hit. 3 for 4 tonight. Luke Scott. Paulo Duca now. First pitch he swings at, and he's got himself another base hit. Two, two men are on, two out, but this isn't anything yet. Curtis Granderson has to face the lefty, Rincon. Well, Rincon has to face the lefty, Granderson, I should say. Fastball for ball one. Slider for ball two. Counts 2-1. Swing at that. Didn't connect. Count is 2 2. Hits it ahead forwards, but Ichiro is right there. And he's got a hell of an arm. We're not testing it. Look at that. I think should be classified as a weapon. We reach early an hour. Men are on first and second. One out. Call goes our way for ball one. He's keeping an eye on uh, Scott over at second. They already caught him stealing once tonight. I don't think he's going to try it again. And that's going to make the bases loaded now for Ray Durham. I'm Berkman has not had a very good game, so... Five, Ray, we, yeah, we let Durham take a swing here, but I might put in Frank Thomas because Berkman has not had a good game. I think, I think that's the decision we go with. It's caught. Not deep enough for the sack fly. Berkman has more power, but that's the same amount of contact and power for Frank Thomas. Well, it's less power, but he is hitless in the season. Let's see if he can make his first hit of the, hit of the season a Grand Slam. Ball one with the fastball. Strike one with the fastball. He's keeping the pitches low. Ball two. Hitting the count. Might be the one swing at here. Nope. Three and one. Let it go by. He's tired. Okay, that was a fair call, but man, that was close. And he walks him in. So it's a five-run lead now. Now it's Rios. Strike one. And I'm just waiting for it. Ball one. Ball two. Come on, throw it over the plate. You know you want to. Three and one. He's got himself into another bad count. He could walk in two runs here. Okay, come on. That should have been a ball. But there is the ball. So he walks in back-to-back -back runs. It is now 6 nothing, And now Long Gone Braun is up, but I think they take him out here. Yep, they're taking him out. Braun is 1-4 for four tonight. But they bring in the lefty with a very high ERA. That's a very interesting move. First pitch is a mistake, but it's well out of the way. That's a bad omen. Stray catches the zone. Count is 1-1. Caught it. Count is 1-2. And he cranks that one. That's going for at least an extra base hit. Is that here? Nope. It stays in the park. But it's going to clear the bases. And he's going to run it out. Braun with three RBI double. And it's 9-0. That This inning just blew the game wide open in the eighth. Now all the pressure's off Guthrie. Wild pitch. You know what, just... Uh, but, I mean, he is a lefty-righty matchup, so if he gets a hold of the one, it's going to go far. Count is 2-0. 
count should be 3-0, but it's 2-1. You know, we got a lot of calls in our favor early on against the King Felix, so... Let's just take it easy. 3-1. That should have been a walk. Come on. Let it go by. Yeah, okay. The calls went our way. He, the umpire just wants to go home. But it's a 9-0 game now. They have six outs left to work with a five-run rally. And now we're back up to 500, 9 for 18. And they're still 0 for 8. Let's see if they can get double-digit hits with no runs allowed. Last batter in the lineup is Norton. Guthrie has been on fire. Strike one. Pulling that one to first base. Frank the Tank is over at first base. And he, I could tell just moving. Feels weirder than Berkman because he isn't as good as a fielder. Here's Ichiro. Strike one. Grounds that one at the shortstop. Second out of the inning. No for three, Rafael for Cal. That's going to go for the ninth base hit of the game for the Rays. They've still yet to get even one run across the plate. Beltron, one for three tonight. Strike one for the fastball. Ball one just misses. Let that fastball go by. Swinging and he struck him out on just change up inside. And that's the end of the inning. So when they get another hit, but still nothing's cooking. All right, now top of the ninth for the Jays. You know, Scott, at this, all right guys, it's batting practice. Nine run lead, I'm letting Guthrie allow three. I'm letting him allow three runs, so he's going to pitch a complete game is what I'm saying. So you go out there, you just have some fun against Mr. Bush here, right? Rush. I wonder if uh, he's into moving pictures. I wonder if he has a brother and one has the uniform number 21, the other one is 12. If you guys don't know, Rush is a Canadian band. But I'd say the best Canadian band of all time. I don't care about commercial success, like in terms of talent and their discography. It's absolutely Rush. And he walks Luke Scott. Scott goes for a walk. And it's Loduka. He's what, one for four tonight? Ball one. And the King had such a great outing. He had almost he threw almost a hundred of pitches. And it just all went down the drain. Swinging at that. That's gonna go just over the head of Norton. But it's only gonna go for a single. Some men are on first and second, no outs. Here's Curtis Granderson, has a solo shot today. It's that one, is that gonna fall? Yes, it will. And the bases are loaded with no outs. So I think you guys know what I want. So just wait on it, really. He'll throw it sooner or later. Ball one. Strike one. Ball two. Count is 3-1. 3-2. Full count. Rich Aurelia. It's going to go for... Territory, it's Ichiro. Don't risk it. No. You know what? No running on him. No matter how fast you are. Here's Ray Durham. Ball one. Ball two. Call went our way. Ball three. Excuse me, strike one. <laughs> it's just in the rhythm there. Count is 3-1 now. Three and two. Foul that back. Count remains full. They've gotten into a lot of full counts. And they have not really gone their way. And another walk to bring in a run. It's 10-0. So I was looking we would have like a very narrow victory, but it's now 10 run lead and Frank Thomas is up. He has an RBI, despite not getting any hits. I'm go by. Okay, come on now. I don't like that. Nope. Fastball. One and two. That was a close one. Count is two, two. Full count again. Two calls went our way. Frank Thomas lines that one, and it goes foul. Not 
I might have hit the foul pole if it was fair enough. And inf infield fly? Okay, whatever. Alex Rios is up next. He'll know what to do. Here's Rios. Strike one. How many pitches has this guy thrown? 41 and he's not... Oh, speak of the devil. And Rios hits that one. Is it going? Grand Salami Alex Rios. Adios, says Mr. Rios. That's his fifth of the season, and he hits a Grand Slam in this game. I can't believe it was ever competitive. 14-0. They're keeping Rush in to face Ryan Braun. They're thinking all we need is one more out. Just get out of the inning. Two balls outside. Count is 2-0. Count is 2-1. 3-1. Might just get a free pass here. Nope, it's going to be a full count. Hits that one. Dive by Uemura, and he gets them out of the inning. So they stop the bleeding there. But that's back-to-back -back five run innings. So I think I know why they're losing games. They're relief pitching. It's choking like crazy. Encarnacion tonight, one for three. Go three, you're just going to pitch a complete game. Come on. You need three outs. How many pitches has he thrown? He's at 68. He's going to get tired probably at our maybe the last batter. Just missed his own fastball. Got him swinging. Two for three tonight. Alex LaRoche with two singles. Strike one. There goes the shutout. Oh man, oh man. I thought that was I thought that would hit the foul pole. We got lucky there. And he hits that one well in the dirt. To Durham. Oh man. Alright, well, just one more out, Q3. It's Anderson. I think that he's looking for a cycle. He's two for three tonight. First pitch he sees. And Jeremy Guthrie, he allowed what, like ten hits, but he got himself a complete game shutout, and that came down to the wire for the shutout, at least. Man, those last innings go differently. It's a much closer game. I might have brought in Lindstrom. But they pull it out. 14-0. Rios got a grand slam. You love to see it. I wonder how many hits he allowed. Because he got into that base loaded jam, and he never looked back. Top of the first inning, that was... Did that bring in the run? I must have. That's why they're showing it. <laughs> yep, that was his RBI double. That was so Rio Scott. What five RBIs tonight? Top of the fifth. That was a solo shot. At that point in the game, it was two nothing. Top of the ninth. There it went. Grand slam. So all they needed was one more out, but they gave up what? Almost five runs. Bottom of the ninth. So, LaRoche almost got a solo shot for the Rays, but instead, yeah, nine hit, complete game shutout, but no walks. Look at that. One, zero, zero. We're going to see the, the inning by inning on the next screen. Rios won the game. He had at least five RBIs. I think he might have had one more. Because I think he might have gone intentionally... Or, not intentionally, but like they walked with the bases loaded. Guthrie is 4-0 on the season. Hernandez is 2-for-2. Two two. He did not deserve that loss at all. He allowed two runs, and the rest of his team allowed 12. Rios got a fifth. Granderson got his 11th. Neither Braun or Berkman. I even took Berkman out. He was not having a good game. Let's take a look here. Everyone got a hit except Thomas and Berkman. Thomas did get a walk-in. Seven RBIs. That's mental. Because he got the Grand Slam, he got the RBI in the first. That's five. I feel like he must have just gotten a uh, two somewhere else. I thought he got... Did he get walked? He must have gotten walked intentionally and... Yeah, there's one I'm forgetting somewhere. All right, let's see. Yeah. Durham got one. Thomas got one. That's the first RBI of the season, but he's still hitless in the season. Braun got four. And Granderson got a solo shot. That'll be it. 74 pitches. 
that's right around when he'll get tired, the mid-70s, so I'm surprised he didn't. 134. Just pound the bottom of the strike zone. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Pl plenty of hits to center. And the shift is working well against Granderson tonight. 14 nothing win. I want to see what he look, what was he got. Heavy on his control, on his stamina, his top speed. There we go. Over 600 points there. Let's see how much a complete game shutout's worth. Pitch a shutout game. Four That's it. 40. Eh. All right, let's take a look around the league. Red Sox won. That's unfortunate. We, of course, beat division rival the Rays. Looks like the White Sox walked off the Yankees. And the Mariners walked off the Orioles. All right. That was pretty good. That's uh, one win and two losses for our division opponents. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video here. We absolutely cleaned up. But we got to face the Rays again in the trot. See you then for game two.